The evolution of the workers' village can be traced back to ancient times, in examples such as ancient Egypt, where the construction of the pyramids required mass housing for the workforce. However, at the turn of the 19th century, this was to meet the demand of modern industry. In Magnitogorsk, the industry is the steel plant, which requires a large number of workers, all of whom need housing. Magnitogorsk's street axis is directed towards the industry, highlighting it. Norilsk's workers' village had an inner block structure, similar to that proposed by Ernst May, with schools nested within the blocks. These blocks were formed by rows of buildings, the first eight of which were constructed by Chernyshev. Other infrastructure and greenery were then distributed within the block. The traditional compositional orientation of the settlement towards the industrial complex was maintained along with the beam pattern layout. It was common practice to orient the main streets towards the plant square. This is demonstrated by settlements designed for the Ural car building factory, as well as Magnitogorsk steel plant. This was an ideological concept which shaped the lives of residents. Though it proved unpopular, industrialization allowed for construction of similar buildings en masse. Today, sociologists can retrospectively look back at this experimental period, asking themselves, what can we learn from it? Я не просто функционально, так сказать, да, покупаем то, что нужно, да, особенно после войны, когда разруха была проведена, как и установлено, рост потребностей тут начинается, такой специфический уже, городской. Контексты меняются, когда приспосабливаются к этому контексту, это меняющиеся люди, меняющиеся ожидания, привычки, стандарты, манеры, образ жизни, все меняется. Поэтому можно ли оттуда вот что-то взять, так сказать, и просто взять и транслировать? Ну, может быть, что-то можно. Какие-то элементы, которые могли бы сработать сейчас, и которые были бы, ну, хорошо бы работали, независимо от, от, от контекстных вещей. После ручьевок, эти вот панельные дома, готовые блоки, домостроительные комбинаты. Тут элемент промышленного строительства, нагромождения, быстрой сборки одинаковых домов. Этот элемент сохранился технологически, он развивался, совершенствовался. И он не зависит ни от чего, это чисто технологии да, производства там, вот, разных жилых пространств. Как лего перебирать. The concept of the workers' village was implemented during Stalin's first five-year plan, which intended to industrialize the Soviet Union for parity with its more industrially advanced neighbors. The legacy for this period is captured in the monuments found in cities such as Magnitogorsk, Norilsk, and other industrial giants. A monument to the first workers, a tent, captures the difficult housing conditions endured in the beginning. Today, the city thrives, having outgrown its humble beginnings. Today, Remnants of these housing projects, initially intended for a 20-year service life, are either dilapidated or fast being replaced. However, subtle influences have endured. Road constructions still form blocks around which peripheral transit routes are organized. Today, this has evolved into what some may recognize as the superblock. This simple yet elegant principle is a viable solution to some of urbanity's greatest challenges pertaining to urban transport. Then, there is the economics of the matter. Why were the mid-rise buildings prevalent? It all boils down to the cost of construction. The cost initially drops. However, at a certain point, the engineering demands cause a steady increase in the cost. This bottom-out point varies across each city, region, and country. Granted, there were inadequacies with the implementation of the workers' village. However, this is a strong argument in favor of low-rise, human-scale construction. From the research we have conducted into the workers' village, successful concepts can be drawn from this for implementation in today's context of resilient and sustainable urban development. 
parking space, tomorrow we become something like this. So they did over time, the infrastructure be, could be potentially be transformed into, into other things. This is very important, it's resilience in future proofing what we build today. 